Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jurtastic, and welcome to part 13 of City Skylines. Today is going to be a special speed build type of deal going on, taking place. I know you guys like the first one that I did unintentionally, but today we're intentionally doing a speed build. But before we get into speed build, let me show you a few things. As you saw last episode, uh, we built the train or the metro. No, it's not a metro. It's a central train station. Uh, it's getting filled up. It's getting filled up good and over here what we did is uh, came around we couldn't obviously add more stations here so we built a station here build a station here built a station here and I thought I was done at that but I said you know what might as well make this line connect an industrial area as well which we did so we built six stations all together in this area so it kind of goes from the station right here goes down residential zone two go to wood square come back blah 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 that has been working effectively uh, another thing i've added over here is a first of its kind uh kind of a stretch of a medium residential roads ignore the garbage emptying sign because i added a plugin called uh, automatic emptying and that kind of caused a traffic hell for me because there was like out of nowhere 200 garbage trucks trying to go to the same area so i took that out so the garbage or sanitation uh, situation is taken um, taking a sweet time getting fixed but anyways so we built as you remember this was commercial zone one this is residential zone three uh, but in commercial zone one we want to keep it uh, commercial but this area didn't want to make anything out of it obviously we connected the highway I don't want to extend the highway so I decided to just go ahead and lay some residential zone two which I think have worked out perfectly they look beautiful in this area as such so we're done with this area now today where the speed build is gonna go where you're gonna be talking to future Jurtastic in just a second is this area we're doing it as you know I'm trying to do something funky with this um, with this uh, map uh, so instead of just like we did here kind of pockets over here I kind of want to just build residential areas even further apart and that's kind of we're gonna we're gonna wing it. I know last episode you guys really I highly suggest you watch the last episode if you haven't because it covered a lot of this train station. But this one I, I was uh, said I put it as a joke just to test it out, but I actually ended up working kind of good. So we're gonna keep it for right now. But basically, there's gonna be a lot of building or a new tile building. There's a high need for residential and commercial area, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this tile right here. But we're gonna do it in a special way. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Well, let's do it. So first and foremost, if I didn't make myself uh, completely clear, you can understand how that could be taken. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is fill this out tile up, but I'm not trying to fill it up as dense as we did the other tiles. I'm trying to make it just some special. I, I see cities that people do, and they they tend to distance out their their towns within their city, and that's kind of the idea here. So first and foremost, I learned from my past. I'm not trying to congest since I only want it to be connected via highway and train. I don't want to congest the ramps of the highway. So what you see here happening is the idea I took, like again, I, I seen it online and this idea, basically you kind of make the bridge uh, go or, or you make a highway bridge and under this highway bridge, you're going to have a roundabout. And this roundabout is what connects all um, exit ramps and, uh, and on ramps for, for the highway. So what I did at first is just to kind of get an idea how the bridge is going to look like. I did the, the bridge, as you can see right there. And then the idea was to go ahead and put the ramp or the roundabout. Now, the thing about it is I do have a roundabout plugin that you guys are about to see in just a second. But the thing about the roundabout plugin uh, is for some reason, the smaller it is, when you start connecting multiple roads to it, it doesn't become a it, it's a circle, but it becomes like a like a deformed circle which you'll see in just a second here i did this and uh i was like whoop i forgot the roundabout actually but it looked pretty nice that was the idea of it it's like okay let's go ahead and take it out and now you're gonna see me start doing a roundabout so i'll go ahead and show you guys this and we'll come back in just a second So there you go so here's what i'm talking about see how like as soon as you connect it the circle is, is just so weird it's like a bug or something with the plugin or the game itself another thing that was very interesting is that 
when you try to connect it that way, it just says space is occupied. Obviously, the space is not, but when you connect it last, it isn't. And uh, I knew the lines weren't, weren't completely, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, they weren't completely looking the greatest, but I was like, that's fine. Let me just get this done for now, and then we'll go ahead and worry about the lines in just a second. Uh, or the ramps in just a second, make them look a little more aesthetically pleasing, if you will. So here we are. We built this. This is good to go. And now I'm going to start working on the ramps. So now we did it, I realized, hold on, if I'm going to connect the boulevard to this roundabout, it's fairly small. Fairly small roundabout for all of that. We didn't need to go bigger, I just needed to relocate the ramp, where the ramp, uh, where the oncoming ramp or, or the on-ramp for the highway, I needed to reconnect it to have a little bit of space, and that's what we did. Now what the idea of this is I wanted to have um, one pocket of commercial and one pocket of offices and I want it to be right off the highway so when people got to go to work from outside of town or goods got to be delivered to the commercial area uh, I don't want them to go through the whole boulevard because the rest of the boulevard is just going to be residential so I wanted to kind of make like a like a palm tree type of design here uh, but you know didn't really well it worked out as good as we I thought it would but here we are so build that so that area is going to be commercial only and then which I'll talk about later in the video and then um, I didn't think of an office area at first but I did later this area is gonna be residential and all these kind of light bulb shapes that I'm drawing are gonna be commercial or uh, residential and uh, yeah that's kind of the idea is kind of space them out and have kind of a, 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 a what do you call this a cul-de-sac I guess I don't know what you call that round thing but I know there's a name for it in the, in, in, in regular city planning but um, that, that was kind of the idea is just kind of make those circular lines and and kind of divert the traffic a little bit try to have as minimum of connections to the to the boulevard as you see there I deleted that one to kind of space it out I don't want it to get too congested and that's kind of that whole idea now that train line you see that's an outside connecting train line uh, so I didn't really worry about it too much Now I started to do the whole water outline thing, obviously the water pipes. Uh, we needed our water is kind of at a medium level right now, so we needed new pumps anyways. That's why I didn't connect it to the original water pipes, which I could have. Uh, and, uh, you know, the only thing I connected to the original water pipes was the sewage because I don't want to put a sewage area here because, man, they just they create more pollution, more water pollution than what's really needed, especially that have the water treatment plants that I know a lot of you guys in my Discord told me that they still create, you know, water pollution, which I understand, but I feel like I feel like it's a little bit a little bit too much of, of, of water pollution. Or maybe I have a little too many water, uh, water treatment sewages or something like that. So here we are building the office area. Now initially what I was thinking is that boulevard you see I was going to connect it to the to the other side of the city which I did actually off camera after this episode was aired and I, even though I put heavy traffic ban and I put no trucks in this boulevard somehow the trucks still managed to get their way so instead of taking the highway what started happening the industrial trucks and the commercial vans would take this boulevard connecting to that other side of the city to go to the other commercial commercial zone one and I did not want that at all. So right now All right, guys. Well, welcome back. So, like I was mentioning, uh, I'm not trying to like completely quote unquote draw a Picasso. What I'm really trying to do is uh, just uh, have something that's a, a little bit different from just a traditional block after block. The other pockets that we've done over in the other side of the city have been very, very nice. So this way, as you can see, um, just a little zigzag in action. One thing I do worry about is this intersection right here. Uh, because you're going to have a lot of houses. But the idea of it is this area is going to be offices. This area is going to be commercial. So this way we can also have some commercial areas for them here. Let's go ahead and actually put the offices up right now. And they can just grow at their own rate if they 
want to come in fill them up now great they don't they don't this is the only one-way street that i have in this area actually we can just probably just go like this problem with this one what i don't like about it is it takes some stuff that i don't want filled up and fills them up but looks like this one actually worked out great all right cool at this area we're just gonna still go regular um this one actually i'm gonna do because i don't like building a boulevard so this one i'm gonna go actually fill it up grid by grid and we're gonna fill the rest up in just a jiffy here the idea of putting a commercial here is just at least one a little zone of commercials because you know it is gonna be a lot of houses so instead of having to go all the way across town they can just go ahead and go across their little uh, or all, all the way across the city they can just go across the little town um, so that's kind of the idea of having that there so we're filling this up right here and in a second we're gonna go ahead and build the houses so here we go these are gonna be all residential or what is this how, how do you not have water did the water not did it not catch the electricity I thought it did oh I see I see I see I see I see I need the underground connection there we go should be good now right I think so oh they don't have it's not connected to any type of sewer so we're gonna have to do is connect it to these lines right here what about now should be I know for for electricity you guys should be fine electricity should be fine this this is more than capable of doing it let's take a look at yeah our electricity should be fine I don't I, don't, oh, I guess it is far further down so at first we're gonna have to put, build some power lines just, just along the street here put it over here put it over here put it over here like I said just along the street and then it can go it can be better it looks like I forgot to completely give water pipes to the office area all right so let's go ahead and fill up the houses um, it's kind of like a gonna be like a nice little town of its own here honestly we have high demand for houses as you can know I, again I'm, I'm just going regular houses here the time for high-rises all this stuff is coming very 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 soon very soon I'm actually gonna go ahead and fill it up as much as I could like even down there but I definitely don't want houses here definitely don't want houses in this side of town let's take it out uh, as far as public transportation over here a little conflicted on what or how we can go about it the few ways we could connect it to that line we got on the side there um, so that's one of the ways obviously and uh, we can have a bus bus route that comes this way although I feel like it's very very far from here so we might have to do a little bus depot for it unless we connected um, this area to this area but the reason why I don't want to connect him by bridge because I can just already tell how crazy the traffic is gonna be because a lot of them gonna the driving gonna gonna try to come here actually they can just go straight on ahead maybe it won't be that bad maybe that's something we can explore in just a second here I was gonna go ahead and fast forward this make sure everything is good how oh really seriously just a little bit off come on gotta hit the bulldozer in here there we go and there we go as far as electricity should be good here they need electricity here let's go ahead and give it to them just for now um we do this for now and then generally they'll still start picking up i might have built these schools prematurely i just wanted to kind of get it get an idea of of where i want to build the schools all this stuff because i do plan on just filling this up wow the residential house is, is really already down i thought it would definitely be a little more i thought it'd definitely be a little more than that but here comes the new residents the new the newest residents of these town and I don't know I don't even know what to call this would this be a zone yeah we, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and stick with our regular shenanigans or residential zones it's actually gonna be a big zone but uh, the reason why it's bigger than usual is because it's not really close uh, as close of, of places as the other ones so actually we're gonna name this residential zone four so we're already in residential zone four res zone number four Okay, for the train what's nice about it like i said is we we have the option now to add some sort of train station here um connect actually we can probably go this way let's see if we can do it 
Oh man, this death care stuff is just getting on my nerves. Like, dang, how many, how many death cares do you guys want? All these houses? Oh, just one. I'm about to say, all these houses burned down? What? Uh, let's go ahead and extend this boulevard down a little more. There we go. Now we're going to need some type of death care here, fortunately. I guess it's not enough for them over there. Uh, where do we I want to put it? Put it right here. But what I like about this zone, which I wish I would have done with my other ones, is very close to the highway. So if you need to drop off goods, you really just come drop it off, get back in the highway like, like, like this fella right here. You don't have to go touch the residential areas and congest these areas. Uh, you just have to you just go drop it off and get out of here like these guys are about to do, I'm sure, in just a second. And they're about to take a right and go around the roundabout and there they go. Bada bing, bada boom. And they're on their way to where they need to go. Residential demand is still very high. Very interesting. But as far as residential demand, we should have plenty enough over here for it. I know the office demand is not usually as high. Oh, one thing I did forget. Uh, when we do this, we're going to need to fill these places up. Or not fill them up, but give them give some parks. Oh, I do have this that I want to try eventually. I, I got a Ferris wheel down. Um, that was very cool. Let's go ahead and give them a park, though. It should have some awesome parks. I don't know where they went. Should have, like, yeah, like something like a soccer field. Um, can put it right here. There you go. That's pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice right there. You come park, play soccer. These guys should be happy. Should have more than that, though. I should have... Yeah, there we are. Tennis. A little tennis court. Never hurt nobody over here. A little tennis court here. Give them a little basketball court here. Uh, what is this? Huge tennis courts here. Maybe we're going a little bit too ahead two ahead because we don't want just the monthly or the weekly expenses to be up for no reason so hang on to the rest what is this aqua park fun oh that sounds like a fun time that sounds like fun time sounds like something i want to put put a library here as well oh and this is not a library what is this it's taking students it's in spanish but i really like the design of it like, kind of like modern minimal design so i took it but it says library Publica del Estadio, Biblioteca Publica del Estado. I don't know. Building burnt down. Okay, well, good for the building. I mean, what do you want me to do? The building's burned down. The building's burned down. Uh, how much death care do you guys need on the island? Honestly, a dead person is waiting transport. We have so much death care in the island. How m I mean, the island. I think I'm playing tropical. <laughs> um, cemetery usage, buried, capacity is 33,000. I don't, I don't understand crematorium. That's for crematorium. I don't know how many... Are they guys waiting? Is that why I spread? These are the crematorium folks? Dang. Why you gotta color it red, though? That's just wrong. That's just wrong, man. <laughs> she just colored it red. Oh, uh, that's wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and put a crematorium then, I guess. I don't really don't like putting crematorium next to a park. We'll put it right here. There you go. Deceased stored... What the heck? They store him before they kill him? Why do you... This needs electricity? What? I'm not even really worried about getting electricity because... I guess it's, it doesn't have lights and needs electricity. Not really worried about electricity because we're not even expanding to that zone yet. But that's what it is. Residential Zone 4 is here. Down the road, we can definitely build some type of train station. Uh, we can build it here connect something this way uh, as far as this is I don't really like this area at all I kind of put that out of a necessity because we I felt like it needed you know we needed more houses which we did at the time but I can't say that I do like this area I don't at all but uh, let's go ahead and put well six citizens health heal capacity we're good in six citizens the hospitals are good as well uh, everything what about elder care or child care children and teens take children and teens okay can I guess put one here? Dang, this 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 place covers a lot, huh? Put one right here. Cool, cool, cool. But we're good. I mean, one thing, like I said, I, I kind of wanted to do it like this, but don't want to go too fancy. The roundabout kind of gets jaggedy after a while. I don't know why. I think it's just a city skylines thing, but they do get a little jaggedy after a while. But there you go. Uh, should see much more traffic here coming up soon. 
as far as the main areas they're all good to go this guy obviously got to be the most trafficked area because it is a commercial area so there we are but with that being said we are going to wrap it up we just wanted to kind of build the bare bones of this that's why i did a speed build for this don't forget we're doing two city skylines episodes so make sure you come back later on this week if you want to know my upload schedule either check twitter if you don't have twitter check discord if you don't have either then i'm sorry the only way to check my upload schedule is for you to come back and check the channel uh, but besides that ladies and gentlemen my name is your hope you enjoyed this episode and i am out see you guys